Hey, how's it going? We are really counting down the last couple days here of uh, the 2020 uh, Inktober thing. Uh, today is the 26th, and the prompt, I believe, was either hidden or hide. I can't remember. It had to do with something with that. So, But as we got kind of started, um, once again, I wanted to do kind of a this one I wanted to do just pretty much solely an artifact. Uh, it wouldn't be something that was previously associated with, you know, a superhero or anything like that, that this would solely just be an artifact. So initially I started kind of just sketching out like a basic person holding this artifact and all that kind of stuff, but I switched it over to just doing artifacts and I actually expanded it to, to four artifacts rather than just one. And so Obviously, we'll get into more of it uh, with the backstory and powers and abilities of these artifacts, but it was, it's something very similar to like Marvel's Cosmic Cubes or Marvel's like Infinity Gems and stuff. It, these artifacts are very much uh, centered around like the function of the universe or, you know, the you know, the, the essence of the universe or the powers of the universe kind of a thing. And so, but yeah, I was just kind of sketching these out. I, I also got some vague inspiration from uh, Mike Mignola, the f famous artist that does uh, uh, the Hellboys. I really like how he does kind of ancient ruins and stuff like that, the way he crafts via his uh, hard edge light shadow technique. But um but yeah, I was looking at his uh, concept art that he did for the uh, Disney movie uh, uh, Atlantis back in, I think it was the early 2000s or whatever when that movie came out. One of the last uh, animated movies from Disney, as I recall. But yeah, so I just kind of had fun. Each the, the interesting thing is I actually went kind of the extra mile on each particular orb has uh, specific designs in it that match its uh, force in the universe. So what I did is rather than like completely copying Marvel and doing like the time space and all those different gems or the cosmic cubes, I did the, the fundamental forces of the universe, which is weak and strong force, electromagnetic, and then uh, uh, gravity. So like obviously the blue ball that's uh, here in the foreground, um, you can kind of see that there's like that circle in the middle and there's a couple lines that bend around it. So I kind of took that from uh, Albert Einstein's kind of, I think it's from his theory of relativity. I'm not for sure. I'm not completely familiar with his theoretical physics stuff, but how like if you put a ball in the center of a fabric, it bows the fabric. And so certain things move around uh, heavy gravity, objects differently and then like the orange ball has kind of like a magnet thing built into it and then like the weak force is the green one in the background and you can see that it's made up of like a bunch of broken lines and then obviously the red or magenta one is just like a bunch of solid lines representing this the strong force and so I made sure that I kind of made some conscious decisions in in that design aspect for these um spheres of creation. I ended up calling them the bearings of creation. So like bearings are obviously what are used to help things move uh, smoother. So like in, usually they have to do with like axles and like wheels, especially in like cars and stuff to help wheels just turn smoother and stuff like that. And so I, I called them bearings due to the fact that, that these four artifacts are key to ensuring that the universe moves smoothly and all that kind of stuff. So, but let's get into the backstory and powers and abilities of these artifacts. So, once again, as I had stated, I called these the bearings of creation. So, the backstory all we know about these very obscure artifacts is from a brief experience Starboy had while traversing the universe. And I did obviously a video about Starboy if you want to just check out my YouTube channel. There's a video about Starboy if you're curious on. Who this person is. So, um, with his ability to fold time and space, Starboy was attempting to find the beginning or the end of all creation. He said he came to a point in space where 
there was a thick matter all around, and all the forces of creation were acting upon him. The best way he described it was the centripetal force on a merry-go-round, except in every direction. He said he finally broke through into a vast open area, thousands of light years in diameter. As he moved around, and what he assumed towards the center of this vast space, he came across an oddly undulating mass. He said the mass appeared to be in flux, coming in and out of existence. Observing, the whole, observing this mass, he found um, strange holes in, in, in the mass, and finding a significant hole to peer into, he saw four pillars and what appeared to be small bearings spinning in every direction on them. These spheres were about the size of one's hand. He took one of them and exited the thick cloud of matter. While examining, while examining it and toying with his sphere, he unwittingly altered the law of gravity. Starboy said that while near a supergiant red star, he tapped into the odd powers of the bearing and altered the size, density, and structure of the giant. The star went from millions of miles in diameter into something the size of a dime. And he also observed that the light from the star was bending around him. Fearing that he might be toying with something out of his understanding, he returned the sphere and quickly exited again. While traveling back to Earth, he pondered on what he possibly discovered and hypothesized that he may have found the center of the universe. So let's um, get into the powers and abilities that uh, these uh, spheres uh, provide to one who either wields them or comes across them. So. Uh, just based off Starboy's account and what he observed, a, pop a possible conclusion can be made that what Starboy found was some mechanism or artifact that came into existence at the same time as the universe. And deciphering his experience with this one orb, we might surmise that he was toying with the physical representation of the law of gravity and that the other three orbs could be the remaining three basic fundamental forces of the universe, weak force, strong force, and electromagnetism. Based off this information, anyone who controlled just one of these could drastically alter the fabric of reality. One could only imagine the destruction if one, to were, if one were to wield them all. So, thanks again for joining me. This is... Uh, day number 26, um, and the prompt was hide or hidden, I can't remember, and uh, the thing I drew was the bearings of creation. So we will catch you in the next video. Thanks a bunch.